Have you ever worked on something and then one day thought, wait, what was this supposed to be again? I don't know about you, but I have, and I am starting to have some serious doubts about this whole concept. Originally, this was meant to be a simple get to the finish line kind of platform game, but I realized as I was testing that this plan is probably not going to work. It just isn't that compelling, and I had to be real with myself, it's just not a good game so far. Now, that's fine. The real question is, how do we fix it? Well, I think I have an idea, but before we get into that, let me just show you what I've been working on this week. The first thing I have worked on was collectible items. Using some basic math, I animated these items procedurally so that they rotate and hover and vary their luminosity over time. I also added a similar animation when the item is collected, and I tried really hard to make these items feel satisfying to collect. Next, I added a render layer for rendering the user interface. This layer will always appear above the game and will show some stats and overlays, but I want to keep the amount of text that is on the screen minimal. Rather than show a health bar or a number, I wanted to render it as an overlay like you would see in a lot of modern games. I tried a flat color, but it didn't really give the effect that I wanted, and if it's all across the screen, it's pretty hard to look at. Instead, I just painted some overlays in Photoshop, nothing too complicated, just used some standard brushes and transparency, and then I added some code to render them to the screen when the player is hurt or takes damage, and this is what it looks like. It's a work in progress, but I like it so far. I spent a bit of time refining the player controls, but it's hard to show on video. Basically, I want the game to require at least some skill, and I don't want climbing to be completely trivial. So I just tighten the requirements so that jumps and grabs have to be timed semi-intelligently. Alright, so here's the gameplay so far. Now, just hold on a minute. Listen closely, okay? Can you hear that? Yeah, me neither. There's almost no sound in this game, and, and that really takes away a lot of the immersion. So, let's fix that. First things first, I spent a bunch of time making this collectible item, so it makes sense to add a satisfying sound when the player collects it. I spent some time in FL Studio just using basic plugins, and I ended up with this sound. I chose a minor triad because it sounds sort of mysterious, and if you're wondering why, you will see in a few minutes uh, when I describe the direction that this game will take. If it were a major triad, it would have sounded like this, and it's not really what I'm looking for. For the rest of the sound effects, I used my cheap condenser microphone, which is actually the same one that I'm talking into right now, to just record random items. For sounds that are used frequently, I recorded a few variants so it doesn't sound too tedious as you're playing the game. By the way, I really hope that I was not visible to any human being during this process because all they would have seen is a grown man shaking a cereal box into a microphone and tapping shoes on the floor repetitively, okay? By the way, don't tell my girlfriend that I used her boots for this. Anyway, in the end, these are all the new sounds that I added. <clears throat> ah. Yep. Hoop. All right, I have one more thing to show you guys, and this is what I'm really excited about, okay? I modeled this simple low poly book in Blender and painted a basic texture on it. And this is actually going to be our first real collectible item. Now, you may be thinking, what's the big deal about a book? Well, it's what's inside the book that matters. See, the original concept for this game was simple, and it could have been fun, but the thing is, I wanted the game to be a bit more weird. I really enjoy surreal video games and movies. So here's my idea. Instead of just going from point A to point B, I want to instead focus the game more on exploration and finding secrets. I haven't fully thought through the story yet, but imagine something like this. The player wakes up, and bam, they're a cereal box, and they have no idea how this happened or where they are. 
and the only thing they can find are notes and other intel from someone else who seems like they've been in their place before. The player must now escape this bizarre world by trusting a mysterious, unknown documenter. Anyway, that's all I have so far. It's it's not going to be that sophisticated. Um, I may look into making some cutscenes or something, but I don't want to overcomplicate this project. I like the idea of piecing the world together and receiving missions along the way in the form of these intel books. And maybe you meet some characters that sort of just hang out in specific locations in the level, and they may ask you to do odd jobs in exchange for these items that you need to escape eventually. Let me know what you guys think about this new direction in the comments, and again, all of your feedback is much appreciated. Alright, I'll swap out that old stand-in asset with our new Intel book, and it looks pretty good. I'm really proud of this collection animation, it's, uh, it's not really a big deal, but it turned out surprisingly legit. I mean, check out this close-up, bro. Yeah, that's, that's good, I like that. And that's pretty much all I have for today. This has been a super interesting project so far, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turns out and making more devlogs. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.